Got the guys gonna set up. <laughs> Mr. Don, it's always good to see you. Always out here helping us out. Thank you very much. What is this? Our fifth one together? Sixth? No, dozens maybe. Dozens maybe. Time flies when you're having fun, right? It does. We appreciate you coming out here and helping us, man. And uh, anytime, anything for the kids. They have a blast. Sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. But we always have fun, right? That's right. Appreciate your support, man. Thank you very much. Anytime. All right, so we're all set up out here. The guys are fishing right now. We're waiting for uh, for the Girl Scouts to show up. Looks like they're coming up the pier now. All the rods are ready to go. Different setups, some smaller setups, some big setups for some sharks. Again, one of the beautiful things about fishing in the ocean is it's not stock, so anything could bite. Sharks, perch, ronkeys, grouper. Yeah, I said grouper. Anything could bite out here. Mackerel, jacks melt. So we got different setups. It looks like these guys are tangled up. Let them get that figured out. Anyway, it's like to uh, let you guys sit back, relax, watch the real Langers and the Girl Scouts out here on the Ventura Pier. Ready to go. We just need some kids, and it looks like they're coming up the pier right now. Let's go. Just given birth, so that's good. Aww, yeah. Yeah. Is that your first fish ever? Yep. Good. <laughs> Looks like it's a good size for the jackpot today. We're gonna let that one go though. Okay. Uh, name it and throw it back. Uh, John. John. <laughs> <laughs> Just softly drop it. There you go. All right. A little soft toss. Eyes on the back of his. It's called a spider crab. And that is what? Is that an anemone or a tunicate? Is that an anemone on there? Oh, yeah, see, that one's got. Oh. See, they move so slowly that other creatures can settle on top of them and live on top of them. I don't know how it lost it. So it's an ectoskeleton, you know what that means? Uh, it's go ahead. So the skeleton is outside the body. Right. Uh, Good job. Oh yeah. It's it multiple no colors. Somebody does their homework. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. I'm in third grade. They one never touch his eyes. Yeah, oh. Turn and I'm in third grade. So who else wants to hold this one? So what happened though? It has no picture, so it won't get you. Unhold it again. Unhold it. Hold on to a tag. Get here. Unhold it. Get it from there. Whoa. Bill Scott. Hold it like that. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to recognize 
You got there, John. Tell, tell the people what, what we got. Got a little Ronky here. Uh, Can you guys keep it? There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> now you have a pet fish. <laughs> Get in the mix. There you go. You guys have a song you guys sing in the Watch the pipe. Help her out, Anthony. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do you got in this one? What's in this one? Uh oh. What is it? What is it? Whoa. You got a different kind of crab again. What is that? One of them's got zits. What is that? It's acne. He must be in his teenage years. Look at that guy. So this guy has a whole lot of little. Um, we're, we're gonna call these uh, roommates, right? This is like a little village on his back. Tell him again, Melissa. This is Melissa Baffa with the with the uh, Girl Scouts put on today. But she's also a teacher and loves uh, the ocean and tide pools, and she knows her stuff. She's gonna tell us a little about this rock crab. So we're looking at the barnacles on the back of this rock crab, and the barnacles look like they're mollusks. They look like they would be related to snails or clams or mussels, but actually they're related to the crab. They're arthropods, and when you see their little feet kind of coming out here, they're actually doing headstands inside these little volcano-like shells, and they stick their legs out in the water, and they fish plankton right out of the water, and that's what they eat. So they're filter feeders. Filter feeders. What are you going to name it? Mm. Name it. Uh, it's a female. Oh, it's a female. Bobette? Mm. Bobette. We're going to let Bobette Juliet. go. <laughs> so yeah. Can I throw it? Go ahead, let it go. CPR catch, photograph, and release. If he was bigger, we might release him into <laughs> steaming hot water. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yee. There she goes. Here we get a magic. Like, see how it has like the like a like, little square in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sorry. It's like a female one. Is like. Bigger. Is that, is that a and bigger claws. Is that a no, that one? one's also a male. So you guys want to name this one before we throw it back? Or does anybody Philly. want to Bob. It? Philly. She got the she got her crab on her fishing pole. Anybody can catch it in a net. It takes real skill to catch it on a yeah. fishing pole, right? <laughs> all right, so all the all the all the uh, the contestants, please step over here by the uh, Royal Anglers uh, banner. Promar, please line up there. Can I get some music, please? Let's see what we got here. Chasing tail. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. So who kind of, what, Larry, you did the measuring? Who else was measuring today? Who's seen him catch him? I need some... Uh, eight incher. Me. Eight incher? Me. Yeah, it was... Uh, the first that, was, that, was, that young lady uh, right here. Please go stand by the fish that you could verify, please. The first one we used <laughs> measure. Sir, you seen him catch an eight, an eight incher? And yours was a seven and a half? Nope. Eight and a quarter inch. Eight and a quarter. I hear five hundred, seven, seven, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half over here. Eight and a quarter. Sold. Eight and a quarter. All right, eight and a quarter. Please step up to the to uh, Mr. Anthony here. Collect your uh, Chasing Tail Crew shirt. All right. All right. Can we step back there, please? All right. So let's see here. We had an eight-inch crab and a perch. Well, like eight and a half. So we'll put you in an unusual category. Unusual. Seven, seven and a half was eight for you. Eight inch over there. All right. Eight inches right. there. All right. And then we have the two little mini taco boxes in there. Yeah. Grab those. Ding, 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 Contestants. All right. And for the last two, we got a six inch uh, perch. And uh, uh, what kind of kind of crab was it? Anybody see the crab? It, it, rock crab. Yeah. Yeah. Rock crab. A rock crab. All right. So we've got a rock crab and a perch to these two ladies here. Go ahead, Anthony. Wow. Yeah. All right. Now what you're going to do is step over there to Cousin Larry, and he's going to fill up your little tackle boxes with hooks and weights for you, okay? Larry. Yeah. Yeah. This here is for your, this is like a little clip for your, for your uh, towel. Unless you want to just like wipe it on your pants. <laughs> so that's for your towel hook right there. There's some little lures here you can use for freshwater, salt water. A bobber, different size hooks, some sinkers, some different lures. She got herself the best logo ever. The Royal Angler, honor many uh, little guppy, Royal Anglers. Good job. Is that your first fish? Would you like to say anything to, uh, to the audience? How much fun you had or anything? 
It was really awesome. Really awesome. That's it. I got to hold him down. Yeah? You had fun? You good? And you're representing the Girl Scouts. Tell people that, Tell people how, how fun it being a Girl Scout is. It's really, really fun. <laughs> Looks like it. Well, that's going to do it right here today. Good job. We're going to fish about another 15 minutes. I guess the poles are officially closed. Good job to everybody that came out and uh, fished today. People that never caught a fish, tried new stuff, hooked your own bait, cast your own pole. That's what we encourage is to get families outdoors and have fun. Kids need more uh, tackle boxes and less Xboxes. If you don't know how to fish, you don't, you don't have to uh, be a pro at it. Just come out here and get started. Uh, check out our YouTube page. Hit us up directly, and we love to give you uh, uh, tips. Hoop netting, come out catch crabs. You can catch them, eat them, boil them, you know. It's good, good fun, you know. It's been half a day, make a sandwich, a little picnic, come out here and spend the day. And as you progress further, you can go on boats and go see the islands and whale watch. All these resources are in our, here in our backyard, and uh, you guys should enjoy them. So thanks again for coming out. It's here for the Girl Scouts, our volunteers. Thank you, everybody, volunteers. Like us on Facebook.